Hey everyone, welcome to the next video in our um, quilt design series. We are going to work on importing blocks from the block library for this video. The block library in EQ8 is amazing. They have thousands of blocks to choose from. Um, so it's a tool I use all the time. Um, so to start, I'm already in my, I'm right where we left off um, from the Ohio Star tutorial. So now I'm going to go to libraries up at the very top right here and hit block library. So this is where it gets really exciting because there are so many blocks to choose from. We are going to, to make this um, quilt, we're going to do our Ohio star and we're going to do a chain block. So we're going to alternate the blocks in our quilt. And if you, once you open the block library, this is what comes up. And you're going to make sure, I'm going to minus that because I'm pretty sure when you open it, this is, this is what will come up. We're going to go to the classic piece, and you're going to hit the plus, and that's what will bring up all the categories of classic piece blocks. Like I said, we're going to do a chain block, but I want to just kind of go over some really fun um, categories that I love. Um, classics. You've got your log cabin blocks, your bow tie. Um, look, here's our Ohio star block that we actually drew. So we could have saved time and just imported it, but I wanted to show you how to draw a block. So um, the other five patch, I love this section. This has some really fun designs. You can see that it's a five patch because, so here's, it's like, here's our big four squares, and then our five patch makes it this, um, these pieces right here. Really fun designs in here, and you can just scroll over and see all of the many designs. Nine patch blocks, nine patch stars. Okay, you could go through this for days and just look at all the blocks. <laughs> but like I said, we want to do a chain block. So there is a section called chains. And if you remember, we did a Ohio star block, which was a nine patch block. And I kind of want to keep in with the nine patch look, um, or layout, I should say because it'll keep our block cutting instructions really simple because it's all divided into <clears throat> nine patches. So I want you to scroll through and like I said, you could pick whatever chain block you want on your quilt. I am thinking I like this one. So I'm going to click it, and once you click it, a square will appear, and you can hit Add to Sketchbook. And it will add it to your sketchbook. Wait, I think I like this one too. I'm going to add that one to our sketchbook. And this one is really interesting. It's a five grid chain. Um... So that's, we'll add this one too. And we'll add a simple, um, this simple one as well. So you can just click them and add to sketchbook. You could click as many as you want and we can test out whatever blocks in our quilt. I'm going to hit close. And now if we click on view project sketchbook and we're on the blocks tab you can see our blocks showed up here so these are the ones I picked and we will go in and 
test how they look with our Ohio Star. I'm going to close that. So now that we've picked something from our library, we're going to hit Quilt Work Table, and we want a horizontal quilt. Um, you can pick different layout options on point. Um, if you're doing a strip quilt, you can do a horizontal strip, a vertical strip. You can do a one patch quilt. Lots of options. We're going to stick with the horizontal. And now we're going to hit layout. This is where we can decide the size of our blocks, how many blocks, if we want sashing. So we're doing two blocks, and I feel like a 4x4 four four layout is not going to be enough to showcase, um, get the overall fill of the quilt, like how we want it to look. So I'm going to do 6x6, six six, and we'll start with that. And then, if you remember, we did 6-inch blocks. So I am going to keep it at 9. If you hit this, it will keep it um, the height equal with the width. And since we did six, another good option if we wanted to go higher, a bigger size is 12. So maybe I'll just keep it at 12. And if you go down here, it'll tell you your finished quilt size with that size of block. We are not going to do sashing. Um, in this tutorial, um, just because I think the way it's going to look when we see our blocks laid out with the chain, we won't need sashing. So now we're going to do borders on a different video because that these can get, you can go really complicated and I'm going to show you all sorts of things you can do with the borders that are really fun. But for now, we're going to hit design. And you can see our blocks are down here. These are previous blocks I designed and put in my sketchbook, so these will not be in your um, library or your palette, I should say. Okay, so we want to grab our Ohio star block. I'm going to grab the plain one, the one without the pinwheel. And I have set block. And remember, we're going to alternate our Ohio star with our chain block. So to quickly fill in the squares we need, you're going to hit Option, which is on my Mac. It might be a different key um, if you have a PC. I'm going to hit Option, and I'm going to click on that block, and it'll fill in every other block with my Ohio star. So did you see how fast that was? It was super quick. Now, we're going to pick one of our chain blocks, so let's pick this one, and you know, the colors may not match right now, and that's okay, we're just looking for an overall, for the design perspective on, on what our design is going to look like. So I'm going to click this chain, hit my option key, click the second block, and it fills in the remaining blocks. I'm going to zoom out so we can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to unclick the outline patches and unclick outline blocks. So this is actually really awesome, I think. I actually really like the layout of this design. Um, these pieces might be a little bit too bulky, um, I'm kind of seeing, but actually really like it so far, but let's see what our other ones look like. Um, I'm going to put my lines back in and I'm going to click this one, hit my option key and click that. I don't know why I took my lines off. Okay, so there's this one. This one, the way the chain is, it does not chain like this one did, if you can remember. So this one, you can see how these chain together. This one does not. I mean, it's still a cool design. 
and we can make it chain um, by changing this color. I think since this color is dark and this color is light, it's not looking like it chains very well. Um, but let's move on to our next one and just see what the other ones look like. Option. I am not loving that one, but maybe I'm not loving it because I don't love this yellow. Um, like this big block of yellow. And we can always go in and um, hit our fabric tools really quickly. Hit our colors. Grab our white. And if you do swap color and you hit this yellow, we can take that out so it's just... Um, background. So that gives it a whole different look. Let me just show you again. Whoops. Shoot, I went back way too many steps. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into block tools and put that back in. Fabric tools. Swap color. Yellow. No yellow. I like this way better than this. I'm actually going to add that to my sketchbook because I really think that's pretty. Um, but let's go back because I think we have uh, this one. Option. And let's go into fabric tools. And we just need to, I think we need to change this color because it's like right in our face kind of because it's really dark. Let's grab that purple. Let's grab a purple. So that's pretty. Um, we'll add that to our sketchbook. Let's go back to our block tools. Um, I want to try this one. Option. Click. Fabric tools. And I want to take and change um, <clears throat> this. I want to change the colors and see if I like it better. So let's put a uh, swap out the purple and then the pink. Let's do a let's do like a lighter pink. Oh, I really don't like that. There's gray, that's a little bit better. But for some reason, all I can see are these big blocks of color and I don't love that. We could take them out and color them white. And then you have a really classic chain block, which this is very pretty, very modern looking. Um, so I'm gonna go in here, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I'm going to view my project sketchbook. I'm going to hit quilts. Okay, so we have three quilts in here. We have this one with the yellow chains. We have the purple chains and then the gray. I think I like this one the best. I'm going to go here. So this is our chain block, and I am really loving these pieces as background fabric rather than putting in a color. I feel like the color was way too overbearing. Um, let's do one more thing. So go back to your block tools, and let's see what it looks like with our Pinwheel Ohio Star. So I have that selected, set block, option. That's pretty too. I don't love it as much as I love this version. So I think I'm going to stick with this version. You guys can play with it however you want. You can go back into your libraries, your block library, and pick different. Let's pick this one because it has a triangle. I'm just going to do this really quick. Add to sketchbook. Close. Okay, so here it is because I think I need to show you one more thing. Option, 
Okay, so you can see how that chains differently. If you go and do the rotate, you can rotate your, you can rotate these however you want. When you're working with um, the triangle, like this block is not symmetrical. So you could also hit the symmetry button and go like this and it will change. You can just keep clicking and it will change the symmetry of the quilt. Um, so that's pretty cool. I still, I'll add this to sketchbook just for fun, but I still think I like this quilt the best. Um, I think that's what I'm going to work with going forward. So go ahead, play with your blocks, um, import some different chains. You could even design your own chain block. I just wanted to show you guys how to use the library. Um, it's a really quick resource when designing quilts. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, the next tutorial, we will work on borders. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I will see you next time.